Navigating the ticket list view is very easy. If you notice all the way to the left, you have preset list of tickets that you can uh, work with. Uh, it could be by categories, statuses, or even custom queues. However, there are other alternatives that can be used to make your life easier. For instance, all the way up to the top right, you will be able to sort your tickets in different preferences. You can sort by tickets with due dates or the ones that have been replied uh, most recently or uh, based on when the tickets were created. Perhaps you want to see the most recent ticket on top, the oldest that button or vice versa. So there are quite a few options for you to experiment and see how comfortable you are with these different views. In addition to uh, sorting, you'll be able to apply filters. And filters are very helpful. So I'm going to use a quick scenario. I'm going to go ahead and create a new filter. And if you notice what it is, it allows you to add conditions to find a unique set of tickets. So again, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use a couple of samples. Um, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to pick one of my custom fields to find tickets related to uh, this particular item. Okay. And then in addition to that, maybe I want to go ahead and uh, find tickets that um, have been associated with uh, a unique category. So again, you can combine as many conditions as you like. Now notice what happens. As soon as I apply my filters, the entire list gets pre-populated to match those tickets. Filters are sticky which means if you pay attention all the way up into the top left, I'm in my pending ticket uh, view right now. If I go into, for instance, tickets assigned to me, the filter will remain in place. So look at that. Those are now tickets that have my name associated with, but yet the filters are still active. A couple more interesting uh, items here is that you will be able to save those filters for a later use. And when you're done, you can just simply reset or clear the filter and that takes you back into a, a, a normal list view. If you saved a filter, the next time around you can just go ahead and open the uh, filter drop down, select the appropriate filter, and that is it. I don't have any tickets that match that due date, so I'm going to go into the pending list. Ah, there we go, to that match. Very simple. I'm going to go ahead and clear the uh, filter, and if you have questions or need help with sorting or filtering, notice all the way up into the top right, the support icon will give you access to our knowledge base, so you can continue reading more articles and watch more interesting videos, or raise a ticket if you need further help. You can also chat with the support team. Thank you so much.